ಓಂ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭಾ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ವಿ ವರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರಕ್ರಿಯ ಆರ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅಧ್ಯಾರೋಪ ಆರ್ ಅ ಸೂಪರ್ ಇಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸಸ್ which we are having we are experiencing an external world there is a subject and there is an objective world both of these things have to be accounted for that's why the creation is presented but the tatparya itself is not in the details of these creations uh, whatever different upanishads actually present the creation slightly differently that is because it is said that creation itself is only introduced to teach you the oneness of brahman to show that brahman is the karanam jagat karanam and the world whatever one is experiencing everything in this world is nothing but a karya and there is only one karana for that which is brahman in this manner the karya is shown to be mithya or dependently existing means it doesn't have an independent existence of its own and the karana brahman is shown as satyam or the only reality which actually exists so that is the teaching methodology in this context while talking about the creation also we are not only talking about the physical or the gross world which one is experiencing our creation models also account for the all the whatever we are experiencing internally correct <laughs> including our hunger thirst our emotions thoughts all these things also one is aware of all these things are also explained in terms of prana and antakarana are the internal organ and all the different indriyas the sense organs etc so our creation model is a very comprehensive creation model and in this context our creation model also is is actually a five elemental model it's a very simple model that way where the five elements are presented the akasha vayu agni apaha prithivi space then the vayu which is all gaseous substances you can say agni is all energy fire <coughs> apaha is all liquids and prithivi is all solid so like this these five elements and all the elementals made up of these five elements make up our world and even here one interesting concept which is presented in our shastra is called panchikaranam means initially these five elements are born as themselves without being mixed with anything that is called tanmatra and then what happens as tanmatra also they mix up to form your mind and your prana at an individual level and at a total level also we saw all these things there is a hiranyagarbha sutra atma and all that so the internal world of our 
emotions and feelings also are accounted for by showing even your own sense organs and mind and prana shakti which is which can be called as a life force all these things are also created are elementals they are all from the same pancha bhutas but different aspects of the pancha bhutas become all these things that also we saw because we have this this uh, concept of sattva rajas and tamas which are all different constituents of the same or different modes you can say of the same element when one mode is is predominant then it gives a certain effect or a result so the sattva pradhana akasha creates the indriya shrotra or the ear which is associated with akasha the rajav pradhana akasha becomes part of the prana the tamav prakasha akasha is what we are seeing as the physical space like this there also the within the elements also we have these three constituents or three modes which are this sattva rajas tamas also now when we are talking about the internal world there the akasha vayu and all these different elements their sattva aspects are mixing up in the prana the rajas aspect and in the gross physical world the tamas aspect and even here they all mix up with each other the tanmatra is initially born and then they mix up and then create this whole world that is how it is presented and the, that mixing up is called panchikarana how they mix up also there is a formula is given in fact this author here he is quoting uh, panch uh, panchadashi of vidyaranya dvida vidaya cha ekekam so each of them they split into half then that one half is further split into four more quarters chaturdha prathamam punaha the first half is now again broken into four more parts means it becomes one eighth then this one eighth part then mixes up with the other one eighth to become a half and then that again mixes up with the original the first half so that means the sthula akasha or the panchikrita akasha is only 50% akasha it is 18 vayu 18 agni 18 tapaha 18 prithivi also are there this is what is called panchikarana no how do you know this panchikarana happens means only veda is our pramana for this in fact the chandogya upanishad actually talks about trivrit karanam if you see here asya apramanyam na ashankani ashankaniyam so you should not doubt that this panchikarana and all doesn't have any valid means of knowledge it is not a valid knowledge you cannot uh, you cannot doubt like that because trivrit karana shrute he panchikaranasyaapi upalakshanatva so by looking at the trivrit karana in the chandogya upanishad we have to extend it or extrapolate it to panchikarana because trivrit karana is talked about in the chandogya upanishad if you take chandogya upanishad the shrishti prakriya is talked about in the 6th 3 there is a 6th chapter third third brahmana is there so if you see there seyam devata ikshata ಅಂತಾಹಂತಿಸ್ರಹಾ 
and then in the next vakya it says tasam trivrutam trivrutam ekaikam karavani ti like this the trivrut karana is presented in the 6th chapter 3rd brahmana in the chandogya upanishad but there the srishti itself is talked about from agni only this tisraha devataha three devatas agni apaha and prithivi the other two because they are not uh, available to your eyes they don't have any rupa it is not talked about there but taitri upanishad talks about from akasha onwards and uh, the trivrut karanam which is talked about there is extrapolated because taitri upanishad talks about five elements and therefore we talk about this panchi karana so here again one doubt may come <laughs> if all five are there in each of these elements which we are encountering whether they are grass subtle etc how are we even calling them as akasha vayu etc then why are you giving that particular name means because of the pradhanya we have to say what is predominantly there the name is given based on that only that is what is now the next this author is addressing this in fact this is addressed in the brahma sutra also in the brahma sutra this this trivrut karana is talked about in the second chapter fourth pada there is adhikarana for the uh, for that there so there in the brahma sutra also vaisheshyat tadvada tadvada like this this is the last sutra of the second chapter so it is repeating that tadvada but vaisheshyat tadvada means that name that particular name like how are you even referring to this as akasha this as vayu etc means that referral is based on only vaisheshyat it is said vaisheshya means visheshasya bhavaha vaisheshya means something this preponderance you can say okay bhashyakara there says that vaisheshya means whatever is predominantly there that is that is the vishesha of that particular element based on that only the name is given so even though all five are there we are referring to it with only one name therefore uh, that is because of the preponderance or the predominance of one element in a particular aggregate or a compound okay so that's what here panchanam panchatmakatve samane pi teshu cha vaisheshyat tadvada tadvada iti nyayena akashaadi vyapadesha sambhavati so the the reference to a particular element with a particular word like akasha or vayu etc it is all possible even though each element is having all five of them okay panchanam pancha panchatmakatve means what they all contain all the five but still within them one of those elements are predominantly there therefore based on that predominance only this sutra also talks about the same thing vaisheshyat tadvadaha so iti nyayena means normally when brahma sutra is refer is referenced it is referenced as the nyaya prasthana or nyaya nyayena means by the sutra it is so from this sutra also we know that this each element is given its name based on its predominance alone not because that alone is there therefore we can call them as akasha vayu etc there is no problem now further tadani akashe shabdah abhivyajyate vayau शब्द स्पर्श स्पर्श अग्न शब्द स्पर्श रूपाणी अप्सु शब्द स्पर्श रूप रसा पृथिव्या शब्द स्पर्श रूप रस गंधाश्च सो नौ इन ईच ऑफ दीज एलिमेंट्स व्हाट गुणास आर क्वालिटी आर सीन इन द आकाश देर इज ओनली वन क्वालिटी विच इज शब्द अलोन शब्द गुणक लाइक दिस आकाश इज टाक् अबउट so akashe shabdah abhivyajyate so the the shabda the quality of sound is manifest in akasha 
okay i mean sound means we can our shabda can be even taken as waves in general all waves they can manifest only if there is space correct so shabda gunakam akasha then vayu in the vayu both sound and touch are there as a quality shabda sparshav then agni in fire sound touch and form also is there agni is the first thing we can see with eyes so shabda sparsha roopani and in water you have shabda sparsha roopa and rasa also which is taste you can taste water and in prithvi there is smell also in addition to the other four gandhas cha so shabda sparsha roopa rasa gandhas cha all the five uh, sense stimuli you can say are there are these different gunas are there in the prithvi so like this this is how all these gunas are manifest in all these elements further what etebhya panchikritebhya bhutebhya bhurbhuva swaha swaha mahaha janaha tapaha satyam ityetan namakanam namaka namakanam upari upari vidyamananam okay so now from these elements the entire universe has come about correct so that also has to be presented by the author here so he is presenting that so according to our our sacred lore we talk about seven up seven down lokas we say loka means lokyate iti lokah that which you experience is the loka you can call them as seven worlds seven universes seven planes seven dimensions and all that be different people use different names so they are all different planes of experiences you can say bhuhu is what we are there right now this is the bhuloka starting with bhuloka six more are there up so he is presenting that now so all these also lokas are also created from this panchikrita bhuta only they all come from this this uh, compound elements okay so panchikritebhya bhutebhya from these elements which are compounded with each other what are what are the lokas bhuhu is the loka where we are then bhuvaha is the next swaha is the third one mahaha is the fourth one janaha is the fifth one tapaha is the sixth loka and satya loka is the highest loka or that is the brahma loka we say satyam ityetan namakanam upari upari so these are all one above the other so seven up all these lokas are there upari upari vidyamana nam they are all there on top of each other you can understand like that then further down also from bhu bhu loka onward from down what are there atala vitala sutala rasatala talatala mahatala patalana patala namakanam adho adho vidyamananam okay so atala vitala so atala is the immediately down naraka we say whatever is down is called naraka whatever is above is called swarga we are in bhuloka so this atala vitala and all are supposed to be where people are suffering undergoing punishment for whatever papa they have accumulated okay so these different lokas are there down also we have this seven down ado ado vidyamana nam they are all there below loka nam so these lokas are there these 14 lokas they make up what we call as the brahmanda or the entire physical universe brahmandasya tad antargata चतुर्विध स्थूल शरीर तदुचिता अन्नपाना च उत्पत्ति भवति सो दिस ब्रह्मांडा विच इज मेड अप ऑफ ऑल दिस फोर्टीन लोकास एंड विद इन दिस लोकास आल्सो देर आर बीइंग्स करेक्ट देर आर देर आर डिफरेंट बीइंग्स आर देर हु आर ऑल देर इन देर डिफरेंट बॉडीज आल्सो डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बॉडीज इनफैक्ट देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ बॉडीज विच आर देर people 
are there in this bhuloka in other lokas devatas are all there they also have some body may not be in the same form like what we have but they are also having different bodies so this four types of bodies are there and then body means it requires food also therefore the food and drinks and also which are appropriate for those bodies all these things have been created from these five bhutasan so everything is these five bhutas alone whether it uh, it is the lokas themselves the bodies of the lo- of the beings which are occupying those lokas and the food and drinks which are required for those bodies to be sustained which are found in those different lokas all of them have come their utpatti their creation is from this panchikrite bhya bhute bhya from these bhutas alone okay so this way the entire physical world has been accounted for since he talked about the four types of sharira chaturvida stula sharirana he now explains what are those four okay ಚತುರ್ವಿಧ ಶರೀರಾಣಿ ತು ಜರಾಯುಜ ಅಂಡಜ ಸ್ವೇದಜ ಉದ್ಭಿಜ ಆಖ್ಯಾನಿ ಸೊ ಜರಾಯುಜ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಊಂಬ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ಲಿ ಸೀ ದಟ್ ಜರಾಯುಜಾನಿ ಜರಾಯುಭ್ಯ ಜಾತಿ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಪಶ್ವಾದೀನಿ ಸೊ ಜರಾಯುಜ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಆಫ್ ಊಂಬ್ ಓಕೆ and who are they manushya and pashu etc these are all the beings which are born out of a womb then anda jani those which were born of a egg anda pakshi pannagadini so birds and snakes etc reptiles then sveda jani means that which is born out of sveda means actually sweat or moisture so svede bhya jatani yuka mashakadini means some insects and microbes etc they all require moisture okay the yuka means i think it is lice mashaka is mosquito mosquito will not come unless there is some puddle of water and all that correct they require water to reproduce so they are born out of moisture or water then udbhijani means that which that which uh, springs out of the earth okay bhumi bhumi mudbidya so that which breaks the earth and comes out correct springs up so bhumi mudbidya jatani lata vrikshadini so all these plants and trees etc the creepers and trees these are all udbidya so like this four types of shariras are there and further what atrapi ಚತುರ್ವಿಧ ಸಕಲ ಸ್ಥೂಲ ಶರೀರಂ ಏಕೆ ಏಕ ಅನೇಕ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ವಿಷಯತೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಥರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಆನ್ ದಮ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ದ ಟೋಟಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಈಚ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ so that's what he is again talking about that eka aneka buddhi vishayataya vanavat jalashayadva so again he has always been using these two analogies correct the analogy of the forest the analogy of the water water body so vanavat jalashayadva ashayavatva samashtihi okay so either you can look at it like a forest or a big reservoir of water in in totality or vrikshavat jalavatva or in the in the form of a tree or water itself vyashtihi api bhavati it can be looked upon as an individual so both individually and collectively one can look at it even all these bodies so when we look at it collectively what is the name again so because already we have given names for individuals before correct both at the karana sharira and the sukshma sharira we have given all these names if you recollect we talked about pragnyah taijasah and all that already in the in the individual level then we talked about ishvara hiranyagarbha similarly for stula also we have to give this name 
so he is going to give those names in fact the author himself is not giving these names these are all part of upanishad only the mandukya upanishad actually talks about all these names so etat samashti upahitam chaitanyam vaishvanaraha virad iti uchyate so the the chaitanya the consciousness which is conditioned by this physical body in totality okay the physical the total physical universe the consciousness which is conditioned by the totality of the physical universe is called vaishvanaraha or virat these are the two terms used vaishvanaraha virad iti uchyate and he also gives the reason why the chaitanya which is conditioned is called as vaishvanara and virat vaishvanaraha why because sarvanara abhimanitva so vaishvanara it is because it is the the vaishvanara is the one who identifies with all the bodies okay or all the beings or all the human beings you can say particularly here nara means human being really but in general it can be taken as beings also the one who identifies with all the beings sarvanara abhimanitva vaishvanara or virad vividham rajamanatva virat so the one who appears in all these multifarious forms correct the world itself is so wonderful so many different forms are there it is also variegated so the one who appears in all these different forms vividham rajate or vividham rajamanatva virat so these two names are given for the totality okay then further what asya yesha samashti hi stula shariram anna vikaratva annamaya kosha so finally the kosha also was talked about we saw that there is a this when we talked about the shariras each sharira having different koshas also was introduced to you by the author the annamaya kosha is now talked about because it is the stula srishti but before this we talked about the anandamaya kosha is the first okay it is at the karna sharira then in the sukshma sharira three more koshas we saw there is a vijnanamaya kosha manomaya kosha and pranamaya kosha these things we saw now finally the annamaya kosha which is the fifth kosha kosha itself i told you koshavat aachadaniya aachadaniyatva kosha ha as though it is a covering why it is as though a covering because you mistakenly place your identity on all these things okay and because you place your i on all these things your real i is covered that is why it is a kosha so in the annamaya kosha also we have usage like i am fat i am dark all these bodily qualities you take upon yourself you place your i on the physical body and then suffer all the bodily ailments becomes your ailment then so that is that is the kosha vat aachadaniyam correct the body the physical body becomes i and your real nature is covered because of that so that the total level also the annamaya is there okay so asya yesha samashti this this total or collective sura shariram the this two stula sharira or the physical universe is also nothing but anna vikaratva it is all a modification of food alone or anna therefore it is called annamaya kosha ha and also sthula bhoga ayatanatva cha sthula shariram jagrad iti cha vyapadishyate since it is experiencing the gross world okay sthula bhoga means it is experiencing all the gross objects physical objects physical world because one is enjoying all that it is also called sthula shariram and also the jagrat the waking state waking state is where we experience the gross world so all these names are used jagrat iti cha vyapadishyate okay this is at the total 
देन फॉर द इंडिविजुअल ये तद व्यस्ती उपहितम चैतन्यम विश्वाहा इति उच्चते सो द द कॉन्शियसनेस व्हिच इज कंडीशनड बाय द इंडिविजुअल फिजिकल बॉडी इज कॉल्ड विश्वा ओके एंड सूक्ष्म शरीर अभिमानम अपरित्यज्य स्थूल शरीराति प्रविष्टत्वा ओके सो already one has abhimana with the sukshma sharira correct that's why i say i am knowledgeable i am ignorant i am happy i am sad i am hungry i am thirsty all these things are all sukshma sharira abhimana but you don't have to give up that retaining all that okay sukshma sharira abhimanam aparityajya without giving that up you add more abhimanas more identities what are those i am fat i am dark all this i told you correct right? i am fair all these things physical body based identities also we take upon without giving up the identities we have taken upon based on our mind and sense organs etc the sense organ based also we have some identities i am blind i am deaf etc so without without giving up those you add more स्थूल शरीरादि प्रविष्टत्वात इट इज सेड प्रविष्टा मींस इट इज यू हैव एज़ दो एंटर्ड द फिजिकल बॉडी मींस यू आर परवेडिंग एंड देयर इज अ सर्टेन आइडेंटिटी करेक्ट द कॉन्शियसनेस द अवेयरनेस और सेंशियंस इज परवेडिंग ऑल ओवर योर फिजिकल बॉडी देयरफॉर इट इज अवेलेबल देयर दैट्स व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड इट इज एज़ दो एंटर्ड इट इज मैनिफेस्ट देयर इट इज अवेलेबल देयर दैट इज व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज़ प्रवेशा हियर so one has as though entered one's physical body and then taken the identity of that also for oneself without giving up all the other identities one has okay so here asya api esha vyashtihi stula shariram anna vikaratva deva hetoho annamaya koshaha jagrati dicha uchyate okay even at the individual level this physical body is only anna vikara is a modification of food only so for that reason only it is also called annamaya koshaha and also the 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 vyavastha is called jagrat okay the state it is the waking state jagrat iti cha uchyate so the three states are also talked about the ones who are experiencing these three states collectively and individually all of them have been given different names okay now what okay now he is talking about all these things the different devatas also because all the functioning of the different indriyas your mind all the bodily functions also it's not that we are doing all these things consciously correct your body is functioning mostly all the bodily functions are all unconscious or subconscious in fact we don't even know how the food is getting digested or how your heart is pumping and all that correct and all the different organs are all working how is it working means because it is all due to devatas there are adhisthana devatas their ability only is manifest as the functioning of your different organs that is our understanding each and every phenomenon is looked upon as a devata sight is a phenomenon means it is a looked upon as the manifestation of ishara only but in in a particular as a particular phenomena you look at it it is a devata so sight for sight aditya is the devata it will come here in fact all the different devatas for the different bodily functions also they are now introduced here tadanim etau vishva vaishvanarau so this vishva is the individual who is experiencing the physical world and vaishvanara is the one who identifies totally collectively with the physical world both of them okay for them what dig vata arka varuna अश्विभि क्रमात्तृत्न श्रोत्रादी श्रोत्रादी इंद्रिय पंचक क्रमात् शब्दस्पर्शरसगंध गंधा 
ओके सो बोथ द विश्वा एंड वैश्वा रेस्पेक्टिवली क्रमात् मीन रेस्पेक्टिवली बिकाज दे आर डिस्टिंग औट फाइव थिंग्स रेस्पेक्टिवली दे एक्सपीरियंस वाट दि शब्द स्पर्श रूप रस गंध these sense objects are experience through the five indriyas shrotra etc okay starting from ear onwards ear eyes nose tongue and the whatever skin the entire touch sense of touch so the five sense objects are experience through the five sense organs but the sense organs themselves are are functioning under or by whose blessing so kramat niyantritena the by the only the devatas are impelling all these organs to function as they are functioning and who are these devatas for the shotra there is a dik devata dik or the directions themselves is looked upon as a devata the space is made up of different directions so there are dik devatas for us in fact eight and also sometimes 10 also we have because up and down are also there so there are dik devatas then vata is vayu vayu devata arka is aditya or surya varuna is for the waters correct up and then ashvi ashvi bihi are the for the earth ashvini devatas all these devatas only bless our indriyas starting from shrotra to function as they are functioning and therefore we can experience the sense objects through these sense organs so this is the sense organs what about the organs of action means they also have their own devatas agni indra upendra yama prajapati bihi kramat niyantritena वागादि इंद्रिय पंचकेन क्रमाद वचन आदान गमन विसर्ग आनंदाश्च आनंदान सो दी फाइव ऑर्गन्स ऑफ एक्शन आर द करेक्ट वाक पाणी पाद पायु उपस्था विसे वाक स्पीच पाणी हैंड्स पाद लेग्स then the organ of excretion and organ of reproduction also is there all these organs again they are functioning don't think they are all functioning because of you they are all functioning only because of the devatas and who are those devatas for vag agni is the devata agni for hands indra is the devata okay for the legs vishnu is the devata upendra is vishnu here then yama is the devata for excretion and prajapati is the devata for reproduction so all these devatas because of their blessings these organs of actions are also functioning with reference to their own objects like and also how do they function the vag indriya speaks vachana hands can take something or hold something correct that is called adana then legs can walk, take you it can walk or run and all that correct gamana for movement then the organ of excretion excretes visarga organ of reproduction gives you pleasure so ananda okay then what ananda further chandra chaturmukha shankara achyutaihi then four more devatas kraman niyantritena mano buddhi ahankara chitta khena antare antara indriya chatushkena kramat sankalpa nischaya ahankarya chaitan cha sarvan etan stula vishayan anubhavatah so the of course we saw the sense organs and organs of action now about the internal organ also the mind which again we are looking at it in a four fold manner for that also there are devatas are there okay for the mind chandra is the devata moon is the devata 
then for the buddhi brahma ji chaturmukha is the devata okay then for ahankara shankara is the devata and for memory also again achyuta is vishnu only so the vishnu is the devata for memory so these devatas are again blessing us therefore our internal organ also is functioning in all these different modes four different modes and using them only with the mind we do sankalpa or all our thinking and emo emoting etc and with the buddhi we ascertain we have clear knowledge nischaya then with the ahankara is the eye sense who is the karta bhokta and then memory also is there we recollect so all these things whatever was listed now the activities of the sense organs activities of the organs of action the activities of the internal organ all of them using that only we enjoy or we experience this physical world stula vishaya vishayan anubhavatah having or being the one who is enjoying all these things one is there okay and this is what is referenced in the mandukya upanishad jagarita sthanah bahish bahif pragnya iti so this is repre- represent or referenced as jagarita sthana means the one in the waking state and one who is aware of the external objects bahish pragnya bahif pragnya ityadi shrute he that is the shruti so like this the entire entire physical world one experiences okay even here what atrapi anayoho stula vyashti samashtiyo ho tad upahita vishva vaishvanarayoscha vana vrikshavat tad avachinna akashavachcha jalashaya jalavat tad gata pratibimba akashavachcha purova deva abhedah so now he is also talking about the abheda here the non difference so in this case also in the in the case of the physical world also there is the the grass or the physical individual and total between them and also between the consciousness which is conditioned okay tad upaita vishva vaishvanara yoscha the con- the consciousness which is conditioned by these individual and collective upadis which are called vishva and vaishvanara between all of them there is no difference abheda is there like even there is a non difference between vana and vriksha and also whatever the space which is conditioned by the vana as a total collective and the space which is conditioned by each tree there is no difference it is all same space similarly or the space which is reflected in a big reservoir or a small body of water whatever it is so there is avacheda vada and pratibimba vada generally these two methodologies are used for teaching both this author has been presenting consistently the same analogy everywhere and using this analogy he is showing that there is abheda purvavat abheda so like already we talked about the same thing in the karana sharira for that also and the sukshma sharira even for stula sharira and the stula prapancha also the same thing applies therefore what evam panchikrita panchabhutebhy stula prapancha utpatti so stula prapancha in this manner from, from the five fold compounding and from the five fold elements which are like arrived at by five fold compounding only all this entire physical world has come about stula prapancha utpatti the creation of the this physical world so that also has been described now the entire creation has been described it is accounted for so etesham stula sukshma karana prapanchanam api samashtihi ekaha mahan prapanchah bhavati okay so now we talked about the 
ಸ್ಥೂಲ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಕಾರಣ ಶರೀರ ಕಾರಣ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಸೆಪರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಬಟ್ ನೌ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪುಟ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಅ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಗೇಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸಟಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಕಾಸಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಅಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಮಷ್ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ that is called mahan prapancha that is the great universe okay in totality bhavati and what uh, yatha avantara vananam samashtihi ekam mahadvanam bhavati yatha va avantara jalashayanam samashtihi eka mahan jalashaya okay so here also he is again giving these two analogies to say that you can consider many different woods into one bigger forest correct or a greater forest smaller forest areas put together as a greater forest or again different reservoirs considered as one great reservoir like that these three prapanchas also now can be considered as one collective total okay then what etad upahitam vaishwanaradi ishwara paryantam chaitanyam api avantara vana avachinna aakashavat avantara jalashaya gata pratibimba aakashavaccha ekameva so again all the chaitanya the different names we can give like vaishwanara hiranyagarbha ishwara etc all of them are only one consciousness correct is all only the names are all based on the conditioning factors so all the different conditioned consciousnesses if you say even if you use plural really there is no many consciousnesses are not there there is only one consciousness like even there is only one space you can talk about this part space that part space or space conditioned by this reservoir that reservoir or space con- conditioned by forest tree etc or different forest themselves okay space con- conditioned by this forest that forest but all of them are only one space similarly space reflected in this water body that water body but all of them are really only one space there is abheda totally so everything is only ekameva whichever way you look at it all of these conditioned consciousnesses point to only one consciousness which is pure untouched in fact in fact the whole teaching is to point out this consciousness as yourself but in the process we have to account for everything so we have talked about this srishti prakriya is that clear so it is all only one further what abhyam maha prapancha tad upaita chaitanya abhyam tapta aya pindavat aviviktam sat anupihitam chaitanyam sarvam khalvidam brahmaiti maha vakyasya vachyam bhavati viviktam sallakshyam api bhavati so these two are there correct maha prapancha tad upaita chaitanya so there is a great prapancha or universe which includes the stula sukshma karana prapancha all the three the grass subtle and and the causal worlds together put together is one maha prapancha or great universe and the consciousness which is conditioned by this great universe if they take if you take them together like even considering a red hot iron you are not seeing it differently as fire and iron you just see one ball of fire even though it is really fire and iron together but the, when the red hot iron is there you don't know the substance is not seen only the fire it's looked upon as a ball of fire let us say without discrimination aviviktam if you see like that means that is what is referenced by this shruti vakya 
Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma. All that is here is Brahman. Isha Vasyam Idam Sarvam. All these word, all these Vakyas are there. Shruti Vakyas. All that is here is Brahman alone. It is like saying the snake is rope. All that you see as snake is nothing but rope, correct? So like this only it is said, but initially it is said so that to account for whatever you are seeing. And if you do not differentiate it, then you see everything as Ishwara's form and all that we can see like that also. The Jagat Karanam Brahma is alone. Whatever is appearing as all this world is nothing but one Jagat Karanam Brahma, Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma. All that appears here is nothing but Brahman. But that same thing if you try to analyze and understand, that is what we call Badayam Samanadi Karanya. See, when you put two, two nouns together in apposition, normally you can say that one is a substantive, another is a quality, etc. That is normal usage. Rose is red. If you say, then Redness is a quality of rose. Rose is the substantive. Redness is, and both of them are there in the same substance. Roseness and redness. Okay. Or flower is red means flowerness and redness are there in one substance. Samana adhikaranyam that is called. Samana adhikarana. Same locus. Both the words are pointing to the same locus. But when you say snake is rope, the snake itself is negated actually. That is what is called Badhayam Samanadikaranyam or negational apposition, you can say in English. So one is negated by pointing both of them in the same locus. One is shown as the other because the one, one is really an appearance, other alone is the reality. So the appearance is negated by showing the reality. So once you understand the Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma correctly, you, you, you remove the Mithya Jagat from that. Means you are now discriminating, Viviktam. You are seeing with discriminatory knowledge. Then what? Only Sadvastu alone is there. Therefore the same Vakya Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma become sal lakshyam means what? It indicates the sadvastu. Indirectly, it points out the laksha meaning or lakshana vritti and all that we say. Okay? Direct meaning means all that is here is Brahman. Means it is all jagat. Brahman is the jagat karanam. You can understand that. Brahman alone is appearing as all these things. But then the appearance becomes mithya and Brahman alone is really there. Once you see that, then that same Vakya is now pointing out the reality of Brahman and Brahman alone being there. So like this, evam vastuni avastvaropa aropaha adhyaropaha samanyena pradarshitaha. So with this, we are finishing the adhyaropa on the vastu which is Brahman the avastu, which is the entire world, the Shritti has been superimposed. All this is only an appearance. This has been shown in general now. Samanyena pradarshitaha. So the adhyaropa part is over with this. Then the apavada will be done. The negation has to be done. That we will see next week. Om pur namadav pur namidam pur nat pur namudachyate. Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyona Maha Harihi Om Okay, Om Danyodhi We don't have class this evening, but I have already put the message. Danyodhi. Yeah. Okay.